Hi, I'm Ryan with Beyond the Tent, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out the Rumple Puffy Blanket. So let's check it out, see if it's a good blanket. All right, right off the bat, tell you guys, this blanket's awesome, I love it. I, uh, it, this is the blanket that got me obsessed with camping blankets. I didn't really have any. I had like a wool blanket before I ever got this guy. And um, I didn't know they were this nice. I love them. I now have like eight camping blankets or maybe more. I don't know. Um, I, I got this and I wanted to know which one was the best. So I, I bought them all. Or at least all the ones that I thought were cool. But the Rumpel Puffy Blanket... It's nice, it's, this thing is comfortable. Um, it's thick and um, it weighs in at about two pounds and the dimensions are 52 by 75. So I am six foot one, um, 52 by 75. Maybe I can back up here, all the way back. You see, that is big for one person. I can wrap in the long way here and uh, this is great. A, you know, companion blanket for camping. Otherwise, it, it's really great for uh, you know, sitting around that campfire at night. Um, uh, what I do with my kids, we go up to the Boundary Waters in spring, summer, fall. We're in Minnesota, so uh, we we go to the Boundary Waters as much as possible. It's the closest, coolest camping destination around. If the mountains were closer to Minnesota, we'd go there more often, but they're just not, so that has to be a little bit more sporadic. Um, but what we do is we pack a uh, really lightweight sleeping bag and then we all pick out our favorite camping blanket. So rather than bringing a, a uh, sleeping bag that's gonna you know, cover us for everything, we want a blanket for around the campfire. We want them, especially in the morning, sitting outside. And then uh, you know, afternoon naps, laying on top of the sleeping bag and using the blanket. If we get cold during the night, we throw the blanket over the top. Or if it's even too hot, like I said, we lay on top and use the blanket. Sometimes it's just more comfortable. Um, I hate sleeping in mummy sleeping bags. I'm, I'm too, you know, too wrapped up, too constricted. But uh, that we, we love our camping blankets. And this one's it's just nice and thick. I don't have a whole lot to say about it other than it is expensive. So you have to love your blankets. And I'm married to a woman who loves blankets far more than I do. She might own 40. Another really cool thing about this blanket is uh, if you can see these here, these little hooky things there, and then they're on all four corners, and we got one right here. Um, it's also got this little clip right here. So what we actually can use this for is if we wanna strap ourselves in here, um, we can hook this up just about any way we want. We can you know, clip this onto any one of these clips. Hook it up. I believe there's, is there any more of those little strap guys on here? I figured it out. I hooked it up to the wrong strap. As far as value for the money, um, there's some other blankets out there like the um, Snug Pack Jungle Blanket, which is like $45 and it's an amazing blanket. It's definitely not as thick. Even the REI camp blanket's comparable, but again, it's not as thick. Um, it's $100 cheaper, about 100. I believe these are 180 to $200. Just a great blanket. Not something I'd probably bring backpacking if it's uh, if I'm going to the Boundary Waters and you know, pack size and weight are becoming a problem. This is one of the things that would go, or I would go down to one of my smaller blankets. If I have the room and I have the weight, I'll bring this. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Ryan with Beyond the Tent, and if you enjoyed this video, give us a little thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below. See you next time.